He was known to have said, Technology has advanced more in the last 30 years than in the previous 2000. The exponential increase in advancement will only continue. And if quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you, you haven't understood it yet. After being discouraged by J.J. Thompson, he was noticed by Ernest Rutherford, a profound physicist who inspired him to begin the work that would dominate his career, the theory of the atom. He traveled to the United States in 1943 in an attempt to flee from Nazi influence, where he and his son became actively involved in the Manhattan Project, a weapon referred to as the destroyer of worlds. The same bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan on the 6th of August, 1945. His name was Niels Henrik David Bohr. Niels Bohr was born on October 7, 1885 in Copenhagen, Denmark as the son of Christian and Ellen Bohr. His mother, Ellen, was from a rich Jewish banking family and his father, Christian, was a professor of physiology at the University of Copenhagen. Niels Bohr had an older sister, Jenny, but was truly inseparable from his brother, Harold, who would later become a distinguished mathematician. Growing up, Bohr found a fascination in understanding how things would work. He often spent hours upon hours taking apart and repairing old clocks. He was open to all manners of education and graduated from Gamelholm Grammar School in 1903. He was a distinguished physicist and mathematician. After graduation, he studied at Copenhagen University. He was a student of astronomy and chemistry, as well as mathematics and physics. Because there was no physics lab at the university, he used his father's division to do his research. In 1907, he was awarded the gold medal of the Royal Danish Academy of Science and Letters for his work on the surface tension of liquids. After receiving his gold medal in 1907, Bohr graduated, but decided to remain at the university and pursue his master's, which he received in 1909, and his doctorate, which he received in 1911. After receiving his master's, he became very interested in electromagnetism and the atomic theory. In 1911, he received a travel grant from the Carlsberg Foundation. This allowed him to travel to Cambridge, England, where he had enormous hopes of studying at the lab of Cavendish. However, Bohr only stayed for a brief while due to negative pressure from the director, J.J. Thompson, on many of Bohr's ideas. After the rejection of J.J. Thompson, Bohr was noticed by Ernest Rutherford and traveled out to Manchester, England in 1912 to participate on the construction of the nuclear model of the atom. Bohr further proposed that the outer orbits, which could hold more electrons than the inner ones, determine the atom's chemical properties and conjectured that atoms emit light radiation when an electron jumps from an outer orbit to an inner one. Although Bohr's theory was initially viewed with skepticism, it earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922 and was eventually expanded by other physicists into quantum mechanics. In 1943, during the effects of World War II, Niels Bohr and his family fled to England and then to the United States and moved to Los Alamos, New Mexico, where he and his son became actively involved in the development of atomic weapons such as the Manhattan Project. After the bombing of Hiroshima in 1945, he returned to Denmark and became a vocal prominent for world peace and international exchange. He contacted Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and the United Nations in his efforts to promote cooperation and control of weapons of mass destruction. Despite his role in the development of atomic weapons, Bohr received the United States Atoms for Peace Award in 1957. Bohr finally died on November 18, 1962 at his home in Carlsberg. He was known to have said, never express yourself more clearly than you can think. Prediction is very difficult, especially about the future. And an expert is a person who has made all the mistakes that can be made in a very narrow field. He was Niels Henrik David Bohr, a destroyer of worlds and a keeper of peace. He made abundant contributions in the field of quantum mechanics and atomic science.